We are in St. Bart's for this one's birthday. Come on, Markel, let's go make a fill in a bag, Markel. Are you excited? I'm so excited. It's so beautiful. Right now. It's so beautiful. You guys, look how beautiful it is. Uh, oh my God. Like, I could literally live here. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics. Yeah, we have a travel vlog. We're in St. Bart's to celebrate my sister Tabby's birthday. And it's a little chilly out here, but yeah, we're excited. We're excited. You guys should already know what happened to my forehead. So please do not ask any pregnant us. The girls is out here struggling, okay? So yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys are excited to come along with us as we venture off on this island for the next few days. And I'm gonna try my best to vlog. Huh? I did not fart, but you might not wanna go in the bathroom for like two hours. I don't know what it is, but babes, I've just been so gassy, so. Yeah, but I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can so I can bring you guys along. And it's a little, well, the sun is setting now. Let me show y'all. This is so beautiful. And I know the number one question is probably going to be, where are we staying? This is La Serrano, La Serino Hotel in St. Bart's. So, yeah, it's beautiful, like stunning, breathtaking. Like, we were on a flight, and I was like, this place just, it's so fresh, it's so beautiful. Let me show you guys this picture. I'll probably put it in the thumbnail of the water with the boats. So freaking nice. It's currently 6.30, and we have dinner reservations at 9, so, oh, I need that buck spray. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we have dinner res reservations at 9 at, I think the place is called, like, a plush. I don't know, but we asked her lived in a spot and they booked us a reservation and driver and everything like the customer service here is really great too so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready for dinner i don't know how i'm gonna put makeup on my face with this thing but we're gonna see we're gonna see and my skin looks so good other than this but it's okay because i was saying i'm like everything that happens to my skin i always still look and feel beautiful and it's crazy but i feel like God gives his hardest battles to his strongest soldiers. So, you guys know I've had acne. And look at my skin now. And I have this scar. And we're going to get through, okay? So, scar face, babe. I'm praying that by my birthday, you know, we have some progress. But, yeah. Here she is. Up close and personal. So, yeah. I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. It is the next day. Yesterday we just relaxed and then went to dinner. We went to this restaurant called Bonito. It was cool. I feel like it was a different experience. Um, but that was our first time eating here, so we're not familiar with, you know how the restaurants are and stuff. I got the 
yuca fries they were good like the seasoning on them fire and then i got the mai mai fish and then it came like curried vegetables kind of it was good so and i got an amaretto sour i have not had an amaretto sour in so long but that used to be my goal to drink like before i knew how to drink i'm just like just give me an amaretto sour because it tastes good and oh my god everything was so fresh they had the fresh ingredients like in the back fire so then we came home and we just knocked out so today we're gonna try to do horseback riding in like the ocean and then we're gonna go to a cabernet show tonight so that is the plan i'll see you guys once we like fully get up because i just woke up to watch the sunrise i'll probably lay down for a little while and then pick the camera back up so Hey guys, so we had breakfast at the hotel. It was cool. I feel like the food here isn't, you know, it's just, you know, <laughs> it's not like the food in um, St. Martin. It's very um, French. So, yeah, we'll see as we keep trying different places. But we came to like the beach part of our hotel. I don't know if y'all can hear me because it's super windy. But yeah, we came to the beach, we have like our towels and we're just here tanning and oh, I got this for us to play. So I bought this tanning oil. We're gonna try to see. They said this is the best tanning oil and you can only get this like in St. Martin and St. Bart. And then we got this game. I got this from Amazon because I love card games. I feel like card games are a great way to like build your relationships with people so whether it's your man your friends i feel like um card games are great like conversation but my titties were out but card games are a great conversation starter so yeah i don't feel like evian water but i've been slacking on my water intake so i'm trying to be more intentional about it now we're just here relaxing it's like i don't know i feel like when i heard about stem parts before i've seen people here um it could just be the the time of year as well as like the time of the week but it gives like turn up party day club type thing and that could very much be going on but we really just want to relax and just reset and refresh so that's what we've been doing or that's what we are going to be doing so yeah we tried to book the excursion for the horses tomorrow so the hotel is going to see because they have like a concierge here that does all of that for you like, look how blue the water is and the water is so shallow so i don't know if you guys can see if i can zoom in those people on the, on the canoe over there but it's not even deep over there it's very shallow but yeah so I hope this is in focus because I cannot even see y'all. But yeah, the water is super shallow, super beautiful, like so beautiful. Somebody is scared. I'm scared. Yes. That's a period, not a question, but oh my god, you just see my toes. Because I always think brown spots is like I just don't want to step on the turtle. I feel like they feel us coming. How? The feeling is hearing, right? Of the turtle? Of the, of the reef forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's seaweed then? What's seaweed? Oh, wait, wait, what's that? A deep spot. <laughs> that was that. Yeah, My sister's already scared. Okay. <laughs> well, look, the antelope is scared. Sis? Sis? Show them what you got. No, we didn't 
can't see any. We just got ready. We're about to head shopping and to get something to eat. Um, they have all types of stores here: Dior, Prada, Hermes. So we're gonna see. You know, we could find out here, but I'm really dark. Like I love it here, and my um shoulders and chest is it's kind of burnt. But this team, babes, in love. You see lizards? You scared of them? Am I scared of them? Mm hmm Honestly, I think they're scared of me. They're small. I hear them rapping. So, outfit today is from H&M. I'll see if they have it online and link it down below. I'm going to wear my Chanel sandals. And then I'm just going to carry this tote bag with me. But yeah, I found this out the last minute in H and M. It's super cute. I showed you guys in a haul in a vlog like a month ago. So yeah. Shady, is she worried if I might show? Them is hard to care for a side though. Out here with my mans in a night show. Drinking party and yeah, we keep the lights low. I've been by my mind all the way. I just call what a nigga gotta say now. Sipping honey with my mama through the night though. Moving like we trapping out of an door. Let's go, I got money on it. Go see the new fish, you get it. It's cost and I'm rain on it. I've been down and out, but the niggas still wear it. Ain't my purse for the check. Straight shooter like I'm walking with a check. Move deep and I'm pounding with my chest. You know, you know, you know what I want. You know what I need. I just go bitch when I'm sipping my tea. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. What you think is wrong with it? It looks different. <laughs> it's the wrong font. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the wires on top of it. <laughs> oh yeah, they are. I like the wash. And it's freaking stuff. Yeah, I'm coming. First time trying Corona. But I gotta go take this out. Put it in. Put it up in. Mm. Yeah, the first the first time to taste is gonna be very limited. Yeah, I have never been, but it's like not so much hard to taste like that. It's, it's, it's not that bad. But, um, she don't like the taste. It don't taste like it's weird. Maybe it's the mixture. Let me try it with this. It's the grenadine. Mm. It takes away that bland taste. Yeah. I 
these taste better. Bad? Better than the other ones. A uh, smoke shot to a sex shot. Like everything in here. For the booty, for the mouth. Everything. Perfume to set the mood. Stricken. This don't come in English? Yes. This comes in English? Yes. Oh, sis, it is English. All it's he said everything that's in French is English on the other side. Oh, those are so cool. Mm. Oh, Celine, what brand is that? Oh, so forceful. Thank you. Louis Vuitton. Yeah, it's a Good morning. <laughs> it's the next day. I am so tanned. But it's the next day and yesterday you guys saw we went shopping in the luxury store. And when I looked it up online, it said like a lot of people come here to shop. So I'm like, oh, you know, things are probably cheap out here, like similar to Hawaii, like luxury shopping in Hawaii. Babes. I have no taxes out here. When I say no taxes, I mean no taxes. Like you just pay the price of the item. So, I did pick up two items for myself. I should not be shopping like this. Like, the last time I spent this much money was when I paid my down payment for my house. I was in that store yesterday. Like, God, please guide me in the right direction. Like, if it's meant to be, my car will be accepted. And if it's not, my car will be declined. So, yeah, I got two things for myself. And every brand is raising their prices now. So, I was like, let me just get it. Because eventually I'm going to have to get it and end up paying more money. So that was my way of like rationalizing one purchase. And then the other purchase is something I had on my wish list for a while. Well, both of them are. But either way, I get the point. So I'll give you guys like unboxings in a separate video. But today, we want to try the tanning oil that I showed you guys that we found in the store yesterday. And we have a reservation for dinner at 9.30 tonight. So... That's what is going on today. I don't know what we'll do in between. We might go back shopping because we ended up finding more stores um, after they closed. So we found like Chrome Hearts. We found like an art gallery store. So we'll probably go back over there to visit those. And we ended up having dinner at Black Ginger, which is a Thai restaurant. The food was good. The food was good. So, and the prices were reasonable. So, so far we like um, Black Ginger. 
We like um, the red restaurant where we got lunch yesterday. I don't know how to pronounce the name, and I'm not even going to try. And, um, yeah, so we ordered breakfast to the room, waiting for that to come. And then we're going to get ready to start our day. So I'll see you guys later. We go up and down, lost and found, searching for love. Looking for something that lives inside. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to do like um, what you need to know before you travel to some parts type thing. Just to give you like my general review and just give you guys tips on things we found out during our trip. But I will share them throughout this video so that I, I remember to elaborate later on. So our hotel has fresh aloe plants all over. So we asked if they could provide us with like some fresh aloe. So they did how it looks fresh aloe i feel like the aloe back home is white but this one is green it's more authentic i guess on my forehead but this shit is dripping all over me i have some sunburn on my chest i'm gonna put the aloe there too Tanning is cool until that sun burn hits, especially in the shower when the water hits is so sensitive. Taking no flicks, but the whole click snap. There's a whole lot of people in the house trying to smoke with a yak in your mouth. And we back outside. You said you outside, but you ain't that outside. Worldwide hoodie with the mask outside. In case you forgot how we act outside. Hey guys, so as you guys can see, I am back from vacation and I wanted to get on here to give you guys a quick little like what you need to know before you travel to St. Bart's kind of thing. If you guys have watched my previous travel content, you guys know I usually do this after I come back from the trip to give y'all a little tea, like what I recommend, what do you need to know, safety, shopping, eating, all of that. So as you guys saw, I went to St. Bart's with my girl Tab and we had a great time. So I guess just some background, we did stop in St. Martin real quick before we went to St. Bart's. So we traveled to St. Bart's on a plane we 
flew with Win Air. I believe that was the name of the airline. When you travel with Win Air, the rep at the airport told us that you have to have a round trip ticket if you don't have like a residency card on your passport. So if you are not a native of St. Bart's and you're trying to fly from St. Martin to St. Bart's or from any other island to St. Bart's, you need to have a round trip. You can't just buy one way and just be like, I'm gonna figure out when I'm gonna come back. You have to have a round trip flight. So I just wanted to tell you guys that as a quick little note. So we did fly Win Air from St. Martin to St. Bart's and we stayed at La Serrano Hotel. So the hotel gave us transportation to and from the airport. So when we arrived, we had a car that came and picked us up. The hotel was absolutely stunning, like 10 out of 10, beautiful. Like, oh my God, the views everything so i would highly recommend and the hotel did have complimentary breakfast um i think it ended at 10 30 a.m and then they do have a restaurant on site so if you you know want to just grab a quick little lunch quick little dinner you could go ahead and do that at the hotel and of course with a view so we love that but let's go ahead and get into the tea okay the tea the tea <laughs> So in general, I've always heard that St. Bart's is a pricey place with babes. I feel like you don't know something that's pricey until you experience it yourself, okay? So in general, cabs are going to cost 50 euros minimum. We did not take any taxi that was less than 50 euros. So just a heads up, the taxi drivers do accept cash in US euros or card most of them a sub card they have like a little machine so i would recommend you know bringing us dollars with you just to be safe but there are not that many taxis on the island overall so it is kind of hard to get a cab depending on the time of day like if it's rush hour it's going to be a longer wait for a cab so our hotel did help us arrange taxis ahead of time when we knew what we wanted to do so we can ensure we have a taxi driver to bring us because the taxis are limited on the island so that is transportation food i honestly would give the food there like a two or three out of ten like the food we did not i don't know if it's places we were eating but we ate at places that people highly recommended i'm not sure what it was okay the portion sizes were small the portion sizes were small and i'm just like damn this all y'all gonna give me <laughs> this all y'all gonna give me i mean i'm not a big big eater but your girl likes to eat you know so the portion sizes are small the food is pretty pricey you're gonna pay at least at least 60 euros for an entree and you better hope that come with sides okay but the food i would give it a two or three out of ten the food is just not really there for me it just didn't satisfy my my needs and also you guys know i'm a picky eater so that didn't help at all but the food it was a two, two or three out of ten and i'm not just saying that like my friend agreed and she eats almost everything so it wasn't just me i was like okay at least i know i'm not bugging but that is a food shopping at separates is amazing when it comes to luxury shopping because there's no tax and i know like people from the u.s usually go to europe and they're like you know you don't end up paying taxes so what happens just so you guys know is when you shop luxury when you shop anything that is taxed in europe you basically pay the tax when you're at the cashier like you know you pay do your transaction and you keep your receipts and when you go to the airport to like return back to the u.s or wherever you're from you basically get the taxes that are on your receipt back so you basically end up not paying any taxes and set barks babes when you at the cashier and you're doing your transaction there's no tax period so you don't have to claim anything you don't have to get refunded for anything and there's just no tax so i absolutely love that and also luxury items in set bars are cheaper than they are in the u.s i can't speak for other countries but i did purchase some things which you guys will see in a separate video so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but the retail price on those things were a little cheaper than the u.s so you end up saving but they have all the stores okay they have dior they have hermes they don't have a chanel store and when i was speaking to the rep at dior she was saying that um there's not that much like retail space in the area so it's kind of like a fight for like you know who's gonna get what space the shops are all on like one strip so we went over there we had lunch we you know shopped and we had dinner and then we went back to the hotel so shopping was amazing like they did have some, they had a lot of pieces that they didn't have like on hand in the u.s so, like there were some dior bags that the rep was telling us like these are kind of like made to order and they had them on site 
so if you are someone who like you know collects luxury items or is just into getting different luxury items scent bars is a great place to go shopping and they have like a lot of they have chrome heart they have everything like I was just like, let me, like, why the girls not talking more about shopping the St. Bart's? But they have literally everything. Chrome Hearts, they have, like, art gallery stores, they have furniture stores, like, so many nice stores. So I would definitely dedicate a day to just shopping in that area, like, up the hill, down the hill. Like, there's so many different stores. St. Bart's is very calm, I will say that. Like, it's a place that you go to relax. You're not going to go there and expect to turn up um they do have nikki beach which they say is great for like sunday fun day but we weren't there for a sunday but we still did go to nikki beach as you guys saw and it was pretty calm like you know good music good food the food at nikki beach was good i will say that the food at nikki beach that was the best meal that i had when i was in St. Bart. so definitely check out nikki beach even if you can't make it on a sunday but overall the trip to St. Bart's was great it was a great relaxation because every vacation doesn't call for turn up every vacation doesn't call for like rah rah and woo woo so when you get to that point of realization, you know, you understand that certain places are for certain types of trips, you know. But I just wanted to come here and share that with you guys. My recommendation, if you guys are interested in traveling to St. Bart's and you're like, you know, I'm traveling on a budget or I don't want to spend that much time there, is to basically take the ferry from St. Martin to St. Bart's. So the ferries usually leave like in the morning. So you'll, you know, get your ferry ticket, get on a ferry, head over to St. Bart's. I think the boat ride is like... 30 or 45 minutes and then you stay there for the day and then you return back to St. Martin in the evening on the ferry so that is a great way to like you know reap the benefits of like shopping St. Bars and just experiencing it without having to pay for a stay pay for taxis pay for everything else and the ferry docks like right on the strip where all the shops are so everything is kind of in walking distance if you want to take a taxi you can but I'm from New York it's a walking distance <laughs> If you know, then you know. But yeah, so that's a great way to shop in St. Bart's if you're like, you know, I don't want to pay to, you know, experience because it's, it's an expensive place. I'm going to keep it a buck. So yeah, I will definitely do that the next time I go to St. Martin because I do have a lot of family in St. Martin. I'll go to St. Martin, you know, chill with my family and then dedicate one day to traveling to St. Bart's, do my little shopping, do, 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 and then return back to St. Martin in the evening. So that basically summarizes my St. Bart's travel vlog as well as like my travel guide of what you need to know before you travel to St. Bart's. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful if you guys did make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel i have way more travel content coming so i'm really really excited to share that with you guys and make sure you guys leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part from this travel vlog was and stay tuned so you guys can see the items that i picked up when i was in St. Bart's. but that's all i have for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one I'm gonna stay.